these are the ultimate kiddie biscuit. In fact, grown-ups love them too. So very, very simple to make. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. Yum. What you'll need is some plain flour, icing sugar, vanilla extract, caster sugar, butter, bicarbonate of soda, salt, a flavourless oil, eggs and lots of sprinkles. So, in a big bowl, can you mix the plain flour? Yeah. With some bicarbonate of soda, it's a teaspoon of that. Okay, thanks. A bit of salt. So while she is doing that, I am going to cream together the butter. We'll cream the butter, add the oil, and then I'm eventually going to add the sugar. So if you've got a freestanding mixer, you can use that here. Claire doesn't have one, like a garlic, like a garlic press. Got straws. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to cream this together. There we go. Right, so that's creamed in. Then I'm going to just add my flavourless oil. Perfect. Drizzle it in. That is loud. Yes, you do have our make. <laughs> now, I haven't finished with that, but we're going to pop in the sugars. Ta da! I'll do them one at a time actually. And then I'm going to, while the noise is still going, pop in the icing sugar and a couple of eggs. So in here we have got the creamed butter, the flavourless oil, some caster sugar, some icing sugar, a couple of eggs, and I'm now going to pour in some vanilla extract. Doing it freestyle because my <laughs> spoon won't fit in. Mix it in. So next, I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to add it not all at once because it's quite a lot. I'm going to add it about a quarter at a time. Be careful, there might be a storm. Stand back. So that is actually quite a wet dough. So it's going to go in the fridge for about an hour, or you can make it three or four days a day, whatever, in advance. Hello. Well, the dough has been in the fridge for an hour, so it's really firmed up. Come and see. Come and see. Look. It's really firmed up. So I've just got a spoon and I'm going to take little. Look, it's just got a little sort of like <laughs> walnut shaped. Okay, shall I do one? Yeah. Feeling a bit left out. And then what you do, I'm going to stick it in here, one side in here. So how big do you make it? Just that big? Yeah. And just plunk it on. I was going to say, does it have to be neat? But obviously well, not. It's for a kid's party. Actually, I think you'll find that does look quite neat. Do you want to skimp on the sprinkles? Now, the thing about these sprinkles is the most expensive sprinkles that you can get hold their colour better. So buy the darkest sprinkles that you can because they will look better after baking. I say that, <laughs> having very pale sprinkles here. Very cheap sprinkles. Mm. I could do it with one of these and a cup of tea. There we go, last one. Spread them really far out. You can, and what I've done a few times before, which looks lovely and amazing, I've made really, really big ones. <laughs> anyway, they're gonna go in the oven, 180 for about 15 minutes, I think. See you then. So, they've come out of the oven, they've cooled a bit, we can handle them. Can I try? A cup of tea? Can't wait. Cheers. Mm. Nice, I'm gonna go for a bit of tea first. Mm. Mmm, so crunchy. Mmm, lovely. Look, these sprinkles look really good still. Some sprinkles don't hold their colour very well. The darker the sprinkle, normally the better. I'm just going to eat into the middle bit, the chewy a bit. Mm. So, well, uh, I might be some time. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Mmm, nice. Each other. There you go. Are you going to let us have a slice? You're not, no. are you? <laughs> Okay, well, I'd love to tell you what it one. tastes like, Who's but um, that is. that's what I'm going to do. Okay, well, we're going to hit the streets now. <laughs>